I'm continuing now with my video series dealing with uh, countering the slander against the Catholic Church by Southern Day Adventist. Now I know it doesn't set well with them against their nostrils to flaring when a uh, Catholic has to correct all of their theologians, but hey, you know, what, are, what is a good Catholic for but to help people get their theology straight? Now, you've seen from other videos where they want to call this little horn in Daniel chapter 8 the Roman Empire. Uh, I want to go back to Daniel chapter 8 again, revisit it, and look at chapter 8, verse 8, where it says, Therefore the he goat waxed very great. The he goat is described in uh, chapter 8, verse 20 and forward as the uh, Grecian Empire. So we know that the he goat is the Grecian Empire. And continuing now, and he was strong, the great horn was broken. So what was broken? In other words, it's saying that the king of this uh, Grecian Empire died. And for it came up four notable ones. Four notable what? Well, he's talking about horns, so he's talking about four notable horns uh, came up from it. Now look at verse 9. And out of one of them, out of one of what? Out of the four notable horns that replaced the great horn of the Grecian Empire. Out of one of them came forth a little horn. And this little horn is who the Seventh Day Adventists want to uh, call the Roman Empire. So let's go over here and look at verse 23 for a minute now. And at the latter time of their kingdom, when the transgression had come to full, a king of fierce countenance and understanding dark sentences will stand up. So it is describing a person here. And this king they're calling it the little horn, they want to describe as the Roman Empire. Now then, king in verse 23 means royalty or king, but it is never translated as a kingdom. It is no doubt that this verse corresponds uh, with verse 9. Continuing, in Daniel 8, 23, you have an entirely different word for kingdom, as I have up here. The little horn is called a king in verse 23. The Hebrew word king is melech and is never used to describe a kingdom. So they're trying to make this king uh, that is uh, uh, in Daniel chapter 23, this little horn here, as the Roman Empire too. But as I clearly show you here, king as used in chapter in, in verse 23 is never used to describe a kingdom. So Seventh Day Adventist, since the little horn is a king, how can one person be called a kingdom or an empire like the Roman Empire? How can it be done? How can one person, the little horn, who's described as a king, an individual, how can an individual ever be called a world empire or something like the Roman Empire. Is there not a scholar among you who knows the difference? Thank you for watching. Smiley face.